Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Loheiser, and I'm the manager of Early Childhood Development here at the Fisher Price Play Lab in East Aurora, New York. I am Dr. Corinne Eggleston, and I am the associate manager of Early Childhood Development Research here at the Play Lab. So in the first five years of life, children develop more physically and cognitively than they do for the rest of their lives. So it's this period that lays the foundation for learning and development that carries forward. In the early years, I would say the most important thing is just play. Let your child play every day and play with them. Just 10 or 15 minutes if you could set that time aside. When a child has the opportunity to play with their caregiver, their caregiver is able to boost that, boost their learning by introducing them to new concept, concepts through play. So in early childhood, it's really all about cognitive, physical, and social emotional development. Those are really the pillars of whole child development that Fisher Price is always working towards putting that into the play and making play experiences that encompass all of those things. Infants and young children are really fascinated by the world around them. So having the opportunity to play provides them with a very natural opportunity to explore using all of their senses. So physically, cognitively, um, and through communicating. So there's lots of different ways to reach different milestones in early childhood, but play is really the only way that's universal and it's a time when children can really be free. There's no right or wrong way to play, there's no right or wrong answers, so they can have all these experiences in a worry-free way and experience the world. No matter what kind of play a child is engaging in, they are growing and they are developing. But if there is a particular skill that you're hoping to foster through play, you can choose different types of toys or items to reach that developmental milestone. If you want them to learn about cause and effect, you can build with blocks. If you want to develop fine motor skills, you can use modeling dough, things like that. The environment always affects how children play. And it's important to create an environment where purposeful play can happen. So you want to make sure there's a variety of toys for children to interact with or different materials. Um, and the more things they get to interact with and experience, uh, the better the play experience can be. Most importantly, um, make sure that you are present during your child's play that you're, so that you are able to offer them that enriching environment. Listen to what their interests are, offer them items and toys that they are interested in, use lots of rich vocabulary, and engage siblings and peers in play as well. So in a half hour's time, you could do so much in a play time. And really, it's not even about how much time you have, it's that you're present with play. So it's just you and your child or your siblings. Have that time to be focused, to bond, take your child, let your child lead the play, let them, you know, decide what you're gonna do or how you're gonna play, and just be present and be there. Um, the more things you can help them and guide them in, if you have a goal in mind, like if you want to help them learn how to crawl you know, figure out how to entice them with something, whether it be a toy or something different. Use any time that you have with your child to be playful in your conversations, and you can use those also as teachable moments. So for example, during bath time, you can play peekaboo. Um, while getting dressed, you can guess what color um, we're putting on or choose favorite colors. You can count the amount of socks that are in your sock drawer. So for parents who aren't sure that they're playing the right way, I would tell them that there's not a right or wrong play. If you're there and you're playing with your child, you're doing what's right. So you can, you know, kind of just let your inhibitions go, get back down on the ground, play with them, look at with them, talk with them, be a little bit silly and just have fun. 